Hello and welcome to another episode of Silent Hill 2. We are in the hospital and it's actually scary to me. Um, so let's go over everything that we have currently. We have a bent needle, a lapis eye key, a purple ball key, uh, the letter from Mary, Angela's knife, photo of Mary, radio, flashlight, wooden plank, shotgun shells, uh, a shotgun, handgun rounds, a handgun, first aid kits, and health drinks. Um, oh, there's a memo that's flashing. Huh? Do we have to look at all of these? No? Okay, so these are just general thing. Uh, why is the screen black now? Okay. Um, so we should look at the map and see uh, which rooms are locked and which ones were inaccessible. So the only one here is that room, uh, that door that leads to a set of rooms. So we really should just go and check that one now. Um. Ah, it was this one. So this, oh really, what, where was it then? Oh, we went the wrong way, whoops. Classic Cody blunder, I guess. It's still locked. Okay, door, you can stay closed. If you if you really want to stay closed, you can stay closed. Um, the day room could be a way for us to get in there, however that door is locked so surely that I really don't like that breathing. It's like the pyramid head, that's a really weird painting, it's like the pyramid head breathing. Which is why it kind of puts me on edge, because um, he can just one shot you. Uh, well, at least in his previous incarnation. I don't know if he changes at all. He probably does, because this is a horror game, and it'd be, it wouldn't be as scary if um, it was just him with the sword the entire game. Well, the, the great knife, as it's called. The entire game, and he's just like, Hey, uh... You can dodge my attacks and shoot me now. Like, it, it wouldn't be as scary, so. I presume. Uh, there's something about that then. Um, so let's go here now. Let's look at our map. So this is the second floor, and we have men's lockers and the women's lockers. Um. But we're looking for a box of some sort. Um, so maybe. Um, so this is the third floor, special treatment room, that's where it would be, so we'll go to the third floor then, because that would make more sense, because Joshua and the other three people were said to be, like, uh, needing, like, special care, so it would make sense for us to need to go there next. Um... I don't think it's that way, I think it's this way. Weird camera. Um, is it up here? Yes it is, okay cool. And there's no other areas here we can go into other than the upwards area as well. Oh, I pressed the... Whoops! Ah, so we still can't. Maybe we have to... Use something. Wait, what? Examine. Okay, so we can combine things now. That is very curious. 
Huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's something that we can do, so there's probably something we're just missing. And I'm not missing having to kill those things, like tell you that much. Oh. Oh, we have the code, right. Uh eight. Five, Hmm. Huh. That's odd. Well, I guess... That means that maybe we have to go to the fourth floor then. Because I thought that... Like, I, I saw the thing, like the numbers, and I was like, Ah, oh, that means we get to use the numbers here, but apparently not. And that's still locked, and we can't get through. Also, this is like a bad idea. There should be like a fire exit or something here. Maybe, I don't know. I just feel like having like a... I have it a little, be a little more open or something. That just feels wrong. Um, I guess I'm really lost then. I guess we'll look around more. Maybe the numbers I put in were wrong. Maybe I have to. Maybe it's eight three or something. No. Um. How about like backwards? So seven, three, five, eight. No. Hmm, okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that one. There's nothing we can do with that. Nothing we can do with that. I love it, it doesn't move at all. General, just scaffolding. Anything useful here? No, okay. Um, hmm. Well, I don't want to look up a guide yet. So, guess we'll go back down to floor two and explore that more and see what we're able to find there. Because floor two is the most. There's more enemies now. That is a bad time. Uh, I think shooting them to drop them and then to run in with melee is good at the moment. Because it means that they kind of, like we waste, we don't waste too much ammo. And it means that we're able to 
get in without getting hurt. So it seems like the best approach. Okay, so we got another enemy here, so that to me tells me, well that tells me that um, there's probably something we didn't first see here, and they're trying, hmm, there has to be something here. That we haven't tried, like. Hmm. There has to be another item or something that we can grab that allows us to combine. This thing on the table really looks like it would be something, but it isn't. Um, okay. Okay, we did go in this one and there was a really useful item in there. So maybe this one, there's something we didn't quite see. Wait, no, this one had the doll. And I had the shotgun too. Okay, so there's nothing in here. So we got more items in here, but there wasn't anything to help us per se. Um, I guess we'll like elevator could work, but it's the steps that I really want to have happen. So that's where we just were, and I want to look around here a little bit more. Okay, so lock here is broken. That doesn't work. And there's just a seat here. Okay. And there was a leg creature here. This doesn't open. Another one of these little things. A place whose lock is broken. Hmm, again. So now we'll go back into the area of uh, two. That we haven't really fully gone through yet. Okay, so there actually is an enemy here. We'll reload and equip the handgun to get ready. Ah, okay, cool. We've knocked it down, so now we'll equip the wooden plank. And we'll fucking beat it over its dumb head until it fucking collapses. I really like this strategy, because it only takes three or four bullets to get him knocked down, and it guarantees that we don't need to heal. Uh, but fuck, I do not like these enemies.
So, sheet of carbon paper. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. Who I am is who I am. Okay. There's definitely nothing in here. So let's look at the map again. So the next one we can go into is M2. That's M1. Yeah, okay. So we'll go into M2. Let's see if there's anything that we may have missed. So there must have just been something that we didn't look at. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, we already went here, right. Um. Okay. So there's nothing in this room then. So M2 is fine. So let's look at the map here. M3 as well is another one we want to look in. I'm so sorry guys that uh, I've uh, gotten us a bit lost. But um, that is the experience of these games. Especially if you don't want to use a walkthrough like me. Um, sometimes that's what uh, happens when like you know you, you get lost. Um, how about we try using the rusty hook or something then? Okay. But yeah, so don't... Uh, the knife is a bad end, so don't examine that. And I don't think you'll ever need to examine it for a puzzle. It's all locked, and I can't get it open. So the thing, the elevator here works, but it's locked. Hmm. Weird music here, so maybe... No, I guess we can't go that way. I'll go that way. There's nothing else here that we can interact with. Okay. Maybe... That big door is one that we need to... Uh, use an item on. Oops. Um, that's like the only real idea I have. A bull is drawn in it on in purple. It was on the desk in the document room. An eye is carved into the top of the key. The iris part is made of lapis lazuli. A rusty and bent nail. Have I? Can you combine all three of these? Okay, you can, but it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, if we can't get anywhere, really, at the end of this episode, I will look at a guide. 
Just because I don't want to get us lost for too long. So, yeah, you're just in the way and I want to run a little bit. Um, Because, yeah, I don't want to get too lost and we're to the point like, oh, I can't do anything. Um, and the puzzle's probably very obvious. I'm not good with puzzles like this where it's like you have to really kind of think about it. Um, like I'm better with like the puzzles in Resident Evil where... I'm really stumped. What was in the doctor's room? Oh, wait, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. But what was in the doctor's room? I think that's where I need to look again. I think I for I must have just not found something. I think that's what's happened. Is I missed something in one of these rooms. I think it's like in one of the. I think in one of one of these rooms, I've like missed something. This one had a line of text in it. So I think we have to use something here. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we have to open this somehow? Hmm, okay. There we go. That must be the code to the upstairs. Okay, cool, we found something. 7335. Okay, so that must be the way. Yeah, it says patient wing. Okay, so that is what we missed. Sick. We've now made a good amount of progress. Okay, cool. Really happy about that. Because that means that we've now been able to 
uh, do more shit in this episode. One thing uh, I'm really happy about is one, the fact that people actually do vote in my polls uh, on Twitter and all of that, but also that I do get to play a lot of these older games. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of Silent Hill as much as I am a fan of Resident Evil, but I do really like these games because they are, they do have a really nice like little world to them, and they feel very different, but it's still like uh, Resident Evil-y enough. We've done it. So we can now go into this area and probably shit ourselves. Well, anyway, we can now take out. There's probably another one on this floor, too. Up, uh, and that's why I want to inch up close. Oh, wow, they can interrupt your hitting. That's actually really annoying. We'll heal with a big heal after this one. Oh yeah, we really needed a heal. Wow, so much so that uh, a first aid kit didn't even heal us to full. That's really scary. We must have been on death's door then. That's it, you're just getting a fucking pistol. I do not like you guys. Me no like noise, noise mean bad. Oh. Just one of you. It really made it seem like it was another nurse. Well, let it come to us a bit. Because I'm not sure if this is the only enemy here. I think there might be another. N there has to be another enemy here. I just know it. There just has to be another thing here. Yeah. Okay, but it's another leggy boy. And I'm okay with these ones, because they're not as annoying as the nurses. Unless you miss like an idiot. Because like, those nurses are fucking terrifying, and they're also annoying at the same time. Because they're so annoying to take out. They're also scantily clad, uh, which really fits in with the rest of the horniness that this game has had. Um... And another, th uh, uh, it's like another thing that people really hate is the fact that a lot of games copy these nurses when they should be diff they should look different than nurses. Okay, so um, we now have this entire fucking area to explore, uh, and I will leave that for the next episode. So I hope you all have had a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.